What's good? Chaotic Nation, it is your boy Chaos here, coach of the Detroit Red Wingles, and we are bringing you our final regular season team builder for the PDL Season 5. This week we are facing the Hergamar Dreadnoughts and coach Yemen Chartuga, who we lost to in week 1 at a devastating 5-0 loss. So sadly not our only one of the season, and we're just coming off of one, so it would be kind of unfortunate for us if we take two back-to-back. -back. So I've built this team in hopes that we can win, of course, every season, every week, I build a team and hope we can win. Um, so let's start off with a different way than we usually do, which is usually going over Colossal, and we'll start with Rillaboom this week. So Rillaboom is coming this week. I didn't bring it the first see the first uh, first week because I was dumb. Um, because Rillaboom has a really good matchup um, if you predict right, and I feel like I'm going to predict right. So I'm hoping uh, that works out. Um, but before I, I fully get into this, let me break down Jimmy's team again. He's got G-Max Lapras, which has been a big threat uh, with weakness policy. Can do that as well as uh, maybe like safety goggles for uh, different strategies and stuff. Uh, Duraludon, a good offensive Pokemon. Conkelder, Mew, Mimikyu, Ndidi, Female, Centiscorch, Gudra, Blossom, Rotom Fan, Lipard, and Unpheasant. Um, the only really thing to note there is the prankster on the live part and G-Max uh, Lapras using weakness policy as a typical way to set it up. Those are the only thing I really need to notice about the team. Uh, we fought Jimmy before and honestly I don't expect him to bring too different of a team. We'll get to that in a moment. What you want to see is this guy on the screen right here. This dude. Uh, so Rillaboom's coming back. I think it's the same build from last week if I remember correctly. Um, you of course see the IVs and stuff and everything up here as per usual. But it's max HP, max attack and... Um, a little bit of special defense. It is a zero IV speed, so I am being a little bit slow. The whole point of the slowness is in case he decides to bring a slower Ndidi, um, we are speed tied at worst, so there's a chance we can shut down any sort of expanding force or psychic moves in terrain kind of play. He does have um, you and Ndidi for that. Um, I think some other mods on his team get psychic moves. I know Lapras does too, so it's not a bad idea. To, uh, just to deal with that um, going forward um, but of course I do have assault vest again it's one of my favorite items to run on Rillaboom it is my favorite item to run one of my favorite it is my favorite item um, and it's got grassy surge again because I want to deal with that terrain uh, with uh, the Ndidi primarily it is adamant nature as you can see here it is a uh, attack over special attack I remember adamant um, and then max in HP attack and a little bit in special defense with an assault vest to double that special defense So that's gonna be really nice and really helpful for us um, Grassy glide priority move terrain. It's it's really boom. You know, that's coming I also have fake out as priority um, the strategy this week with fake out is to fake out the conkelder to stop it from hitting the Lapras So that is gonna be cool if it works out. Hopefully it does We'll see I also have Drain Punch for recovery to help out a little bit and a little bit of coverage on the Dark types and Steel types on his team. And then I have Drum Beating because, um, as we found out last week, Grassy Glide doesn't get a cut sometimes. So um, Drum Beating does give me a little bit more uh, power and also does lower the speed of my opponent. So that can be useful here this week. Rillaboom is my primary counter to Lapras. It pretty much one-shots it, even as G-Max. Um, as long as it's taking a little bit of damage, and it probably will because of Mach Punch off of the Conkelder. Um, it can beat Duraludon. It has a weird matchup versus Conkelder, but it can win as long as he's not running Poison Jab, or um, I can take him out before he hits me with Poison Jab. Sorta works on Mew. It depends on the set of Mew. I definitely expect it to be the special one that Jimmy brought week one. If it does come, and that would have Flamethrower on it, and we probably live it, but it also just depends. Um, it can beat Mimikyu, it beats Ndidi as long as it has grassy terrain up, that's why I'm slower. Um, it can beat Lipard as long as it's not like Parahax to Oblivion. And it also has a weird matchup on Pheasant um, where it can grassy glide and get a revenge kill if it needs to. So it's very nice there um, for, for that strategy. Next up on the team, we have uh, Crocodile this week. Crocodile is literally the best option I have for Elite against this team. Um, knockoff is just so good to have... Um, just just with this team in general because I have the ability to to, to shut down the item on the Prima, the Primarina the item on the Lapras or the item on the Mew or the item on the uh, Indeedies or a Life Orb on Mew or Mimikyu it just knockoff is such a solid option and honestly it's a dark type it's the best user of it I am running Moxie again this is the same um, 
Crooked Isle from week one. Just with a little bit of a switch, I think I changed out uh, Skitter Smack for Stone Edge is the only change I did. It's literally the same one, max speed, a max defense, no attack investment, and a Jolly Nature boosting that speed over the special attack with a little bit of HP investment. And the whole reason I'm not running offense um, this week on this thing is because with a Moxie boost, I do get that boost to attack. So all I have to do is knock out one thing, and I'm basically um, going to do a lot of damage with, with the Crocodile here. Um, high horsepower knockoff for stab as well as utility to get rid of items. Brick break in case G Max resonance comes off, I have a way to deal with it. And then Stone Edge is another way to deal with Lapras, um, and or to deal with uh, um, just some other options he has in the back. I'm sorry, my thing crashed and I have to reopen it. Um, some things in the back. What things in the back would I have to deal with? Send a scorch, really. Honestly, just send a scorch and then pheasant if they come. Um, but uh, this this crocodile is going to do well against Dura Duraludon. It's a primary counter to Mew. It pretty much just bops it with knockoff. And I don't want Mew to be defensive and have assault vest, or defensive and have recovery with leftovers, or be an offensive life orb variant, or have a spec, or scarf, or band, or whatever. I don't want Mew to have an item. So that, that's why I'm it's my big counter there. It can take on Mimikyu. It depends. Um, honestly, I do beat it if it's not in. Um, if it's not if it doesn't have its disguise up I do beat it that way um, but otherwise it's just a good way to get damage uh, it's a primary counter to Ndidi another reason why it's being brought as a lead because he's either gonna lead Ndidi and something else or he's gonna lead Lapras um, Lapras Conkelder in my opinion so um, either way Shades has the lead matchup one as long as I bring him and as long as I play it right so that's kind of why he's here. It can beat Scorch. It's a weird matchup versus Gudra. It beats Rotom Fan. It can beat Lipard. Again, the, it's just weird. It's a weird matchup. And then it also beats on Pheasant thanks to the Stone Edge. Um, so it's good offensive and speedy Pokemon on my team this week. Next up, we have Prime Arena. And I believe I used this in the battle versus Buns. It's the one that had Flip Turn on it. I got rid of Flip Turn, and uh, you'll see why. I'm not running a Water Stab this week. Water Stab is useless. The only thing it's going to be helpful for is, Sen is Sen Scorch. It's not coming. I'm not worried about it. I, if it came, if it comes and beats Pre Marina, Jimmy can have it. I, I don't. He's not going to come. Um, but I am running Moonblast as my stab move. Um, it is just very powerful. Can deal with most of his team uh, Fairy types. I mean, it's a Fairy type move, so it deals with Dark types, uh, Fighting types and uh all the all the uh, blah 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 that you need it to deal with um i got ice beam for coverage primarily for the unpheasant as well as the rotom fan and then i have shadow ball in case mimikyu does happen to come or i need it to deal with mew because i don't have another way to deal with mew or i mean i can't use it for ndd unfortunately um you don't get access to dark pulse but shadow ball is going to work just fine and I, I don't really need it to cover ndd the other two mons we've already went through kind of already take care of it um pretty well but uh this is a uh max special attack not quite max hp it's 2488 split this week um uh, min attack in case of foul play and then it has eight defense ivs uh, eight defense evs to help boost its defense a little bit more um so that's what it's running primarina can beat lapras it's a weird mat okay it's it's a very weird matchup but there's a chance that it can beat lapras um it can just outstall it with calm mind Part of the reason why it's on the set this week also gives me a chance to build a defensive mon that I can also set up. Um, so if I need a setup sweeper at the end, Free Marina's got that lock and key, and we can just go from there. Of course, Leftover is going to give it, me that residual health over the time. That's what its item is. Um, and I'm running Torrent because, honestly, both abilities suck this week. It doesn't matter what I'm running, so it's just there. Um, Shadow Ball I already ran through, and Ice Beam I already ran through too. Um, so it also can beat Duraludon. That's a fun matchup. I do not want to do that matchup, but as long as I have speed, I'm fine. It can beat Conkelder. It beats Mew. It can beat Mimikyu as long as it's not in disguise. Uh, it beats Ndidi at plus one. It can be. It's my primary counter to Gudra. I think this is why um, I really would expect Gudra to come this week if Jimmy didn't have such a solid team the first week. Um, so that Gudra could be a nice little pivot spot for something on the team. I'm not quite sure. Maybe he wants to drop the Duraludon. Maybe he wants to uh, drop uh, the Mew and throw in a, a Gudra instead that's going to wall my team. So this is my counter to that. Uh, it can beat Blossom. It beats Rotom Fan. It beats Flypart. And it beats Unpheasant. And the, you might be like, it beats Rotom Fan. It, 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 it's tanky. He a tanky boy. Um, so it, he, this uh, Pre-Marina is going to do a lot of work for us. 
Next up, we got Noctowl. Another good uh, reason why I, I can rebuild the team here is because of Noctowl being on the team. Uh, if you remember from week one, I had, I think I brought Pinturchin, I brought Lunatone, and I brought something else, and those three mons are not on the team anymore. So I needed something to fill these back spots um, up a little bit. Of course, Colossal uh, is not coming this week. I'm not I'm just going to tell you that now. Colossal is not coming this week. It's not a good matchup. Honestly, Like for me to set up in front of Lapras is kind of dumb. So... Uh, I'm not bringing Colossal this week, and so I have to really, I've had to fill four spots on the team, which is why you see Rillaboom joining. Rillaboom kind of replaced Colossal for that point. This thing, Noctowl, replaces Lunatone. Um, so as my support Ivmon that's going to help us up with speed control, I have Tailwind. Instead of Trick Room and trying to be slower than everything, I went fast. I, going fast has worked for me the last couple weeks. I went with it. It has Tailwind, Air Slash, Moon Blast, and Nasty Plot. Normal types have a lot of coverage. Moonblast is a lot of fun, and he has a lot of things weak to fairy, so it's really worthwhile here. I have Nasty Plot just in case I need to set up. I have Insomnia for if he decides to be cheeky and try to put things to sleep. Honestly, I just didn't want to breed for the other abilities, so sorry guys. Um, and then Air Slash is a nice stab move that can cause flinch, so if I need to get hacked, I can do that. I'm running Expert Belt to do extra damage with uh, super effective moves, so that Moonblast and Air Slash are going to do better if they're hitting things. And of course, that boosted by a Nasty Plot going to destroy something. Pretty good. Um, it's max special attack, 248 HP, not quite max, and then a little bit of investment in special defense. 31 IVs across the board, and I believe it has a uh, modest nature, right? has a modest nature because it is a uh, special attack over attack and uh, yes it is from Alola for the whole purpose of I need Tailwind and you can't get Tailwind on Noctowl in Generation 8 which is dumb um, but th th I had to get an older one which is fine um, but Noctowl can beat Duraludon I've probably set up um, Conkeldra as long as it's faster it beats Mew as long as it's set up uh, Mimikyu at plus 2 with Tailwind um, Plus two, I think it's plus two or Tailwind. Um, uh, and it can beat Ndidi, it's a, it beats Center Scorch. it can beat Gudra as long as it's Tailwind and plus two, it can beat Blossom, it's a weird matchup with Rotom Fan, it can beat Lifeheart, and it also can potentially beat Unpheasant. Not the best matchup, however, comma, but the whole point of Noctowl is to set up the speed, and if I need it to start doing offensive stuff, it has Nasty Plot and it can just start doing stuff. Um, Air Slash is primarily there, is gonna be my offensive move, so I can shut down the uh so i can shut down opponents with uh flint attacks that's why it's there nothing else it's not offensive that's fine next up again we have gengar another mom we switched for we didn't have week one but we're bringing it this week at the exact same set as last week i've run a lot of the same sets you should know that by now it's pretty simple um also i don't want to breed because it sucks <laughs> that's the reason i don't do masuda method shiny hunting anymore uh, but this Gengar is Life Orb, Cursed Body Set. It is running the exact same moves as last week. Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Dark Pulse, and at Destiny Bond. Destiny Bond's to be cheeky. If I need to deal with the Lapras, I have a way to deal with Lapras. It's my Hail Mary, Mother of Grace. Please save me from this stupid freaking prehistoric Nessie so I don't die. Um, that's my whole plan. Nasty plot there. Shadow Ball, uh, Stab, and Coverage. Uh, for all the Psychic types, I have Sludge Bomb to deal with the Grass Fairies. And another stab move, and then I have Dark Pulse specifically for Ndidi. So if it tries to be like, I, you can't hit me with Shadow Ball, I'm like, <laughs> Dark Pulse, get dead. Pleb. Um, Life Orb is the item for it because it gives me a little bit more damage. Um, and I, it gives me 1.3 instead of 1.2 with Expert Belt. And Gengar, if it's going to get hit, it's probably going to die anyway. So there's really no point in running the, uh, the band there. It's just take the damage and go with it. Um, but Gengar with this set beats Duraludon, it can deal with Conkeldur, it beats Mew, it beats, because uh, it's faster, it's Cal can be faster, it's max speed, max special attack, modest nature, it's faster, because um, I have a faster speed stat, unless he's timid, and then good play Jimmy. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It can beat Ndidi, it can beat Blossom, it's a weird matchup with Rotom Fan, but can do it, and it can beat Light Part as long as it doesn't create Night Slash. Because if it doesn't create Night Slash, I live on like... 10 HP, something like that. It's like, well, it's like two or three percent. So it's 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 pretty cool. Um, but if he crits me, I'm dead. So uh, hacks, gods me on my side this week. Um, where was I at? Life hard, and it can also beat Unpheasant. It's a weird matchup, but it can. 
it, it can. Trust me, it can. So don't doubt it. Don't doubt my boy Jaron Jagar. Um, so he's going to do a lot of work this week. And, of course, if I need to sack something, if I need to take a hit, um, if I need to get rid of the Lapras that's set up at plus two, that's new bond. That's the strat. And last but not least, we got Kevin. Kevin Durant. Come on, man. Again, this is the offensive one. I don't need the speed. Jimmy's team is relatively slow compared to mine. Um, my, my base speed is 109. His fastest thing on the field is Lipard. And as long as I'm speed calc to beat it, I can beat it. And honestly, I'm not worried about it being faster than me because it's going to use Prankster anyway. Because Night Slash is doing nothing um, to a Durant. It's got Iron Head, Shadow Claw, Stomping Tantrum, and X Scissor. Iron Head and X Scissor are for Stab. Um, deals with pretty much his entire team. Uh, Fairy Rock types with the, with the Steel Move, um, as well as uh, the, all his abundance of Psychic types with X Scissor. So a lot of good coverage there, as well as uh, the few grass types he has in the back. Uh, Shadow Claw is primarily there for Mimikyu in case I need to, to do it. Also, um, ways to help me deal with Mew and other things. I think there's one there's one matchup that it really works for. I, I, I have to remember it before the battle, but I don't know if it's going to be too useful. And I have Stomp and Tantrum to help deal with um, in case I miss, and also the Duraludon. So... It, it, it's got some coverage on it. Um, this is again the, the offensive one, so it's max HP. It's not max HP. It's max attack, max speed. Uh, Adamant nature's attack over special attack. Four invested into special defense, just because I'm funny. Hustle ability, so it boosts the uh, its power, but it loses accuracy. And to mitigate that a little bit, I have wide lens. So um, as long as we can land our hits, we're gonna do a lot of work. Uh, with ants, we beat lappers as long as it's under 50%, which is fun. Uh, it's a weird matchup for Duraludon, but it can do. Um, Duraludon probably finishes it back. It can beat Conkelder as long as it flinches it with Iron Head. Uh, it's a great counter to Mew, Mimikyu, and Ndidi. It stuffs all three of them. It's a hard counter, so... I don't know why I didn't bring it before. I didn't. I should've. Durant's a really good matchup this week. I could've been in a better spot coming into to week 8 and being 3 and 4. And I could've been 4 and 3. Would've been better. Um... It can take on Gudra as long as it's under three fourths of its HP. So as long as it's on below seventy-five percent, we're good. Uh, Gudra is a big threat to my team, and I'm, I'm going to be terrified if it comes. Uh, we can also beat Blossom, uh, uh, like, like in Rock, like in Rock's not on this team. Beats Lipart and on Pheasants. Um, so that is the team there. So let me tell you what I think Jimmy's going to bring. The exact same set as last time, which would be Gmax Lapras. Paired with the uh, Conkelder to set up and sweep with Weakness Policy and Flame Orb. Um, the Duraludon in the back in case things go haywire. Mew for offense. Lipard for cheekiness and prowl spreading paralysis and speed control. And then DD to deal with uh, the rest of the team and potentially shut down my uh, my terrain. So that's what I think he's bringing. What I could see, I, I mentioned the, the Gudra being a big threat. Yes, I could see that coming. If it does come, I don't, I don't think it will. I'm praying it doesn't, but uh, it could. And if it does, I'm pretty screwed. But I do have Primarina to deal with that, and that's gonna be what I have to focus on, just dealing with that Gudra so it doesn't sweep my team. Of course, he does have Fire Blast and uh, Thunder, so I have to watch out for those things as well. Uh, I could see the Mimikyu coming. Um, there's a lot of really cool strategies with Mimikyu. One of my favorites being the red card Mimikyu strat, where you set up first turn and then you hit red card and. You, you switch the opponent out. So that could be something. Uh, Jimmy runs, I don't think so. I think if it's Mimikyu, it'll be a standard life order of uh, plus Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw, Play Rough, and Protect, or Swords Dance, depending on which one he wants to run. Probably Swords Dance. Um, because you have that first turn Protect anyway. And um, the other one I can see is Senna Scorch. And I, I say Senna Scorch, and you look back at what I've said about all my mods being able to pretty much destroy Senna Scorch. Why would I think Center Scorch? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, Center Scorch is just a weird pick, um, and I could see Jimmy trying to do something weird like that for the final match of the season. For him, it doesn't matter. For me, it's crunch time. If I lose this match, I guarantee you that I'm out. If I win, I have a shot um, of winning, of getting into playoffs. Jimmy's already pretty much secured, so I need to win. He doesn't really need to win. I don't expect him to, to play to throw. That's not Jimmy's personality. That's not Jimmy's character. I expect this to be a hard match that I have to fight for if I want a shot. I think we got it, though. This is a pretty good team. Uh, and uh, 
in order to top that off, let's talk about the strategies of the team. We got the anti-lead, which is Rillaboom and Crocodile. I talked about them being the lead matchup. Um, Rillaboom and Crocodile. I have Fake Out to shut down the Kong Kelder. I have Knock Off to get rid of Weakness Policy. That is option one. Option two, let Kong Kelder hit Lapras and hope that uh, Rillaboom and Crocodile can deal with it. I'm pretty sure that the combined power of them both hitting it will deal with the G-Max Lapras. Um, honestly, Rillaboom, as I said, takes it out pretty much by itself, so honestly, I'm not too worried about that. Of course, will I forget that? Most likely. Um, it also deals with anything else he might bring. You know, I'd see, in this case, if I think, if I'm predicting the six I predicted, I could see Lipard paired with Ndidi. I could see Mew paired with Ndidi. Um, so we could see a Psychic option there with, with Utility to shut it down, or just two offensive Psychic types off the bat. Um, both Crocodile and Rillaboom shut that down because I get rid of the Psychic Terrain uh, as long as I'm slower, which I should be unless he's min speed, uh, which then it's a toss up. In the worst case, we just have to play around it for a turn or two. Um, so, regardless of his lead, I think we got it. The only thing I'm really worried about the lead is the Duralanon. And honestly, I have Ground type move on Crocodile and I have a Fighting type move on Rillaboom. So, we pretty much stuffed the six with those two and they could just win the game hopefully they do because that would be amazing um, the other uh, the other strategy is speed control I'm, I have tailwind with Noctowl it's one of the biggest things I always work on in doubles is speed control because you need to have that in my opinion it's something that's been working for me the last part of the season just having the speed control when I didn't have it last week I lost so that just shows to show you it's pretty important um, so Noctowl's going to set that up with Tailwind, Rillaboom doesn't, ignores everything except for uh, faster priority moves and um, with its uh, Grassy Glide and Grassy Terrain. So um, I really think the Ndidi will come just to shut down my Grassy Terrain, but we'll see what happens with it. Um, and then my, uh, my, my last big strategy is to set up, uh, Crocodile has Moxie, so if I knock out things, I get attack boost. So it might just be set up things to, for, to feed Crocodile. Um, I have Prima Arena as a special one. It can set up and be a wall and be offensive too. Doesn't work for his physical attackers, which he has quite a few of, but uh, if we get it set up, we're pretty much golden. If we can get through the, uh, the if we can shut down the physical side, so that, that'll be nice. And of course I have uh, Noctowl for setup too with Nasty Plot. If everything goes awry and I need Noctowl to do some work, I have Nasty Plot to go ham. And my final strategy, which really shouldn't be a strategy, but it's there and I have to mention it because I'm very detailed in these, is to do um, is my Hail Mary strategy with Gengar, which is Destiny Bond. Lapras comes in, gets set up, destroys my team. I Hail Mary, Mother of Grace, Destiny Bond, hope it hits me and dies. That's a strategy. It works. I mean, I hope I don't have to use it, but if I need to, it's there. And so th that'll be fun. But that is going to be my team for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the team builders so far. Of course, if you have any thoughts on the team, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, besides, it's just a good team. and I'm looking forward to the match. I mean, hey, if you like, oh, why did you run this? Do you have any questions about team building stuff? I love, this is my favorite section of Draft League. Honestly, I love the team building aspect. I could care less for battling. I could care less for drafting. I want this team building stuff. So uh, this is my favorite section, so I really, that's why they're longer videos, because I get into it, and I really think through things. So um, yeah, that's the team. I hope you have enjoyed. Hopefully we can get a dub. I'd like to go new, even. I'd like to, to, to end even 4-4 four and four on the season. So that's my game plan. Of course, you know my strategy, win and draft. Apparently not this season, but we fixed it. It's fixed. Okay, we have a good team now. I like the team. I think it's if we had this team at the beginning of the season, we could be undefeated at this point in time. I don't know. Probably not because we did lose last week, but we'd be at least seven and one. We could be. Um, we, step two, winning team builder. I don't know how Jimmy's gonna deal with this team. If he gets that lapper set up, it might be and it might be GGs. But uh, we can we have ways to mitigate that and hopefully deal with it. So hopefully we win in team builder here. I gotta win the lead matchup. I think anything I expect him to bring. If it's the lead, I win. So I'm not worried about that at all. And then I'm just trying to get the 4-4. I want to be in 4-4 four four in the season. I don't want to be, have a losing season. I've never had one. I don't want to start now. Even is where I want to hit. Uh, and then, of course, if I can get a sweep, I'd love to have it. The differential is going to be very massive. Uh, 
in the case of there's one more match this this week that really determines who gets in so if one team wins i have a shot if if one team wins and i win i have a shot of winning as long i have a shot of getting in the playoffs as long as my differential is better if one team wins and the other team loses the team i need to win loses it's over anyway so it, it doesn't matter if i win this week or not um but I can't worry about that. I have to focus on my match this week. So that's what I did. I'm hoping that things go well and, thing, and the stars align and we can clinch that fourth spot in the playoffs. But I don't know, fam. It's not looking good. I'd say it's about a, a, a 17 or 18% chance we get in. And hopefully that's enough. You know, Lower statistics, statistical anomalies have happened. Look at Shinies. You know? They're like one in... 4096 when they're full odds in later gens. So, like, come on. Uh, but that is going to be it for the team motor for me. I will see you guys tomorrow in my um, matchup versus Jimmy and the Herkimer Dreadnoughts. Of course, I will have a link over there to his channel if you want to check that out in the video tomorrow. So, you can check out his. I think he just he does his team builders and his battles in one, up, in one video. Um, he's not as detailed as I am because I love this. Um, he likes the battle aspect, I think, a little bit too much more. Um, so if you want to check out his match, um, I definitely recommend it. You can see what he's bringing. And uh, on paper, you can be like, who's going to win? So hope to see you guys in the match tomorrow. Thank you again for the awesome support of this season. And hopefully we can continue it with win tomorrow. So that's what we're banking on. That's what we're going for. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And until next time, my name is Chaos Coach of the Detroit Red Wangles. And we are going to get this dub tomorrow. So thank you for watching. And I'll, and I'll see you next time. So until then, stay safe. And as always.